Okay, everybody, I'm going to give you a quick tour of this room. It's a unique room. It's a um, promenade view room. So it's a unique category I have never tried before. Excuse the mess. There's been a lot of drama on this particular cruise. And I have not had a chance to do this room tour until now. But note that there are two couches in here, a table. This is the promenade view window. This is what's unique. Now this is considered like an interior room even though it has a window. So it's priced quite low. In fact, I got this this room for a very good price. So I can't complain about that. But as you can see, from my location, I'm right across from Vintages. I can even look down a little farther out these little shutters and see what the crowd looks like at Sorrento's, which I'm always at Sorrento's, you guys know me. So that's a good thing. Um, the room is, it seems larger than a regular interior room. I could be wrong. It could be just because of where the bed is placed. But just like your normal interior room on Royal Caribbean, it's got the little lights, the little swivel lights, you know, um, it has a phone over here next to the bed, which is good because this is my side of the bed. If there is an outlet back there, I don't know where it's at. Uh, I think if you have to plug in something, you probably have to plug it in on this mess over here at my, my desk. So, that's my little bag that I'm taking to Coco K. But yeah, some very nice rooms. Got some storage areas. You know, extra storage if you need it. Your normal work desk, and of course I gotta work, so there you go. Some drawers in the TV. And, and what I like about these little drawers is they're not in your way. Now, let's, well this is the other side. It looks pretty much the same as the previous side we looked at. And a mirror. This is the bathroom, and the bathroom is pretty, um, it's pretty small like most of the bathrooms in Royal and every other cabin that's not a suite. This is the shower, and it comes with the conditioning shampoo, it has the clothesline up above, which by the way I love when you're at Coco Cay because you're going to end up having to wash something and wait for it to dry. So you can hit the whirlpool later, right? So it, it looks like your normal uh, cabin, it's got the opening doors for storage of things, you know, all of that. Now, the one last thing we can look at, oh, I meant to say, I love these doors. These are those, I call it capsule doors. You know, back in the day they had those drapes and those drapes were disgusting. <laughs> I don't know who came up with little bitty drapes, but that was disgusting. Okay, here is the closet. My little life jacket. Uh, it's only me in here today, but if it were two of us, this would be kind of tight for Soto and I. We have a lot of clothes. But here's our two life jackets. Of course, your muster instructions are always on the back of the door. So that's a good thing because when you have to leave, you may not have the um, cognizance to uh, remember what you were supposed to do. Believe me, it's good to know where your assembly station is. It's good to know all that stuff. And they give you these little magnets. This is the one they put on the door originally. If I'm sleeping, I can put that out there or you can turn it over and say, I'm out catching thrills. How exciting is that? And that will be the case in a few minutes because I'm headed over to the uh, Kuku K Island. But that's the promenade view room in all of its glory. 
really cute room. I'll probably do this again, you know, for short cruises because I do like this extra seating arrangement and um, it's plenty of space for us. So.